Okay, so what we have here now is a little Arduino project that uh, a simple little voltage um, divider uh, tester circuit that was going to turn on a relay at certain voltages. So right now I have it set so if it's over 12 volts, it'll uh, dump uh, supercapacitors. And then if it's, uh, while it's still over gr greater than 6.5 volts, we're, um, we're turning the relay on and then... Uh, then we turn the relay off and it sleeps for about two uh, two seconds. So let me show you. Right now, if I turn the serial monitor on, you'll see that the voltage that it's showing is about 6.8 or so. So hard to see that. We got uh, 6.8. And here's my Arduino here. On pin, uh, analog pin 2, I have it going into a very simple voltage divider. So in here we have, I think, a one, a 1 meg and then a 100K uh, resistor voltage divider. So I'm constantly testing the voltage here. So when it reaches 12 volts, then I turn the relay on. It stays on until 6.5 volts. So over here in digital line 2, oh, that orange over here, is a sense pin on this relay. And then over here, I have the relay uh, lines connected to this... 12-volt uh, DC heater circuit. This is a little de heater defroster meant for a car. So the idea behind it is I would hook uh, this supercapacitor board up to a solar panel, put it in my front window, and as this, uh, when it's charged up, it'll dump the load and produce a little bit of heat. It'll be on for maybe 30 seconds or so until it gets charged up again. And it'll keep going through the cycle over and over and over again. So here, let me demonstrate how this works. I'm going to cheat a little bit, and I'm going to turn my power supply on here and push 5 volts or 5 amps of current into this uh, supercapacitor board here. So let's turn this thing on here. So as you can see now I'm pushing a lot of current here real fast. We'll see that's going to climb up pretty fast. So what are we, we're at 88384. Eight, let's go over to this uh, code window and you'll see that it's climbing up. So remember when this reaches about 12 it should turn on this relay, so let's see if this happens soon. We're at uh, about 10 now. 11 volts. So as soon as it, I hear the relay switch on, I'm going to turn off the power supply so everything comes right off of the uh, supercapacitor board. What do we got here? We got 11. Oh, relay just came on. I'll turn off the power supply. Power supply is off. You can see now the heater is on. You can feel the heat from this heater. It's draining the capacitor board. Quite quickly. We'll get about 30 seconds or so of heat. Now see what it, the idea behind this is this whole unit is going to be powered by the capacitor board so I don't want to drop it down too low because I'm feeding the, the 12 volts from here into the VN pin of the microcontroller. So there'll be no batteries in this design. It's going to be running entirely off of uh, off the sun solar panel. So this relay is going to shut off soon when it's about 6 volts. Relay is still on. Oh, it's off. So, let's pretend the sun is on hitting it again. And, uh, we'll repeat the cycle over again. Oh, here it is. Let's shut off the power. A little amount of heat here, a little bit of heat. You can hear the fan running. Really still on. We got this silly little solar panel array here hooked up to this uh, regulator. I got out here late in the day, so the sun is starting to go down here. So just a little bit over 12 volts, and it should come on here. Let's see what we got on there now. 12.1. There it is. It's on. Let's see what kind of voltage drop we got going on here. Ten volts. Heater's on. Relay's on. Voltage is dropping across the capacitors. Coming directly off the solar panel. Like the control is being powered by the supercapacitor board, and it should shut off pretty soon. The 
Oh, just shut off.